Hi, this is Hugo. Oh, hey, Hugo. It's Amy uh, in charge here at Sharp Memorial ER. I just want to give you a heads up. We got a call about a female uh, coming out of Puerto Vallarta with multiple injuries. Looks like she's going to come to us as a major trauma. So I wanted to let Global Patient Services know what was going on. We were in Puerto Vallarta uh, for about eight days. Uh, it's a city that we love and the people that we love. And it was about dinner time, and Paula cannot pass up a bookstore. And so she wanted to go and check out some used books before, uh, before dinner. So she went off, and the three of the rest of us went off to La Bistro. This is nice. So why don't we get Paula a drink? She should be here any time. Sounds great. And it's probably a good thing. I don't have details of the accident beyond the impression of the impact of being struck. I mean, people die in accidents like that. I guess I just look at it as not my day to die. I just remember the moment of impact. Remember calling him on my cell phone. Paula? I, I would have thought that uh, maybe, maybe a mirror clipped her on the shoulder going around the corner. The thought of someone actually physically being run over by a city bus. I have never heard of anyone surviving that kind of injury. She had surgery that night, and although her blood count was normal when she came in, throughout the night it continued to drop. It turns out she had multiple fractures in the same ribs, so that it requires uh, assisted ventilation. And once stabilized, uh, they were prepared to operate and do things as needed, uh, except there was one small twist. Hello, Alan. This is Hugo with Sharp Healthcare. Global Patient Services is a unique department within Sharp Healthcare that provides 24-7 assistance for people who are traveling outside of the United States uh, to help assist them in getting back to San Diego to a Sharp Healthcare facility. We are available 724, 365 days a year, no matter what, you are getting a live person. And our biggest problem right now is that she has O negative blood and there's only one unit here in the city. So to get her out as soon as possible was critical and time was of the essence. Yeah, bye-bye. When you're traveling, it can become a financial as well as emotionally devastating experience. And most people don't know what to do in a crisis situation when you're in a foreign country. Unidad de Cuidados Intensivos. Ah, buenas tardes. Este habla Hugo del Hospital Sharp Memorial en San Diego, California. Quería verificar si tenía una paciente en su hospital. Sí. We can initiate the ball to start rolling. We're like the 911. We're the behind the scenes for everything. We pull everybody together. We have a global transfer from Puerto Vallarta later today. Um, it's going to be a major trauma. Um, she was hit by a bus. Logistics is my role in this whole process, and that includes communicating with the radio nurse, the trauma nurse, the administrative liaison. Max Care Ambulance. And they, they were terrific. So they were, in the meantime, trying to locate a plane and a crew. We're there at the time of a crisis situation, and we help take all of that pressure off of the patient, off of the family. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes. Going that extra mile, we don't stop. The only glitch we had was when we, we were supposed to fly into Brown Field, and it was fogged in. Copy that, Sharp. Dispatch to shift 618. Rerouting your pickup. We ended up flying into the commuter terminal at San Diego International. We have a 63-year-old female. She's our global patient from Mexico. Hemoglobin is five. So I, I knew Paula was going to be taken care of. Um, the trauma team had been made aware of, of how severe her injuries were, and I knew she was in the right place. It was all kind of a blur. Again, my, my focus was clearly right on Paula and making sure that she got funneled to where she needed to go. Um, he was emotionally drained, um, and just being there for him is, is a privilege that I could share with him. Um, Hugo. Oh, hi, Hugo. Hey, you guys made it here. Well, I have some memories of being in Sharp in the very, very early stages where they were trying to orient me. And she had lots of injuries. 
Okay, the most life-threatening wounds, I would say, were her rib fractures. And three of those rib fractures were actually broken in two places. The fracture of the right elbow in multiple places, and on the left side, just a more simple fracture of her elbow. She also had a fracture of her ankle, a fracture of the scapula, that's the wing bone. I then arranged for the consults that I need, like Dr. Smith. See, there's a break here and here in multiple locations, and I can scan back, and you can see the breaks are all along here and all along here. Whenever I'm taking care of a trauma patient like Paula, you're in a situation where you start taking care of the injuries before you've really got to meet them as a person. But over the course of a recovery, you know, we've had multiple conversations. Those are the conversations that start becoming very meaningful because you get to know the patient, how they're doing, and what things are still troubling them. How are you? Better and better. Good, you look great. I, I'm feeling good. I just feel stronger and I feel better every day and I feel just more like me. And I keep asking people, uh, do you see the same me? And they, they assure me that, that they do. And she actually made steady progress, great, great progress in rehab. Started her OT and PT. Alan and I, throughout most of our married life, have had boats. She's working on steps. She'll need to be able to negotiate the stairway in the boat. Well, even over at rehab, we discovered that her AC joint that was injured was starting to, to shift up more and become more of a problem because of the way it was lifting up. So we brought her back and put that back together and that relieved her a lot. And she even was doing shockingly well considering the injuries. We're like, wow, she's fantastic. She's flying. She's flying, you know, and I get to be part of it, so I'm real lucky. Given her nature of her accident, I can't believe it. And I'm so proud of her. And that's Paula. Today, I'm measuring you at 50. Yay. Sharp offers so many different modalities, acupuncture, massage, yoga, reiki, qigong. It's about listening to what the patient really needs, what the problem is, and finding the best solution. Practicing yoga, it's given me a lot of physical and spiritual well-being. One of the things that I'm looking to get back to is a full yoga practice. Due to having more, my independence, on the boat and it's just being out on the water. This isn't a job. This is, this is more. I love what we do. We do make a difference. Beautiful day. Beautiful day out on the water. It is nice to be out again.